Hello, beautiful. Welcome back to my page. I am Natasha B, your host here at Beauty Junkie Monkey. And today I am going to be talking about the new Shishido Clear Stick UV Protector Plus 50. So if you are new to my page, uh, I am a trained esthetician. I am 46 years old and my content is based on reliable, viable products that work and the reason why they work. Uh, this past summer, I guess, no, so I guess you would say spring, sorry, uh, I got about a skin cancer. So basal cell skin cancer where I had to have it removed. Interesting thing about skin cancer is that uh, the kind that I had, it was like a treat. So it looked like a small little dot that just wouldn't heal. And if, you know, I scrubbed it too hard, it'd bleed like little, just a little bit. And I kind of had an inkling that it probably was skin cancer, but I was kind of traumatized um, about the, the cancer that I went through with my husband back in 2019. And to be fair, there was a part of my brain that was just like, I can't deal with cancer again. But I knew, I knew what it was. So finally, I mustered up the courage to go to my doctor, go to my derm, and uh, they did a biopsy and it came back confirmed. So. One thing I learned out of this entire experience is that when you are in your 40s, the body will present its bill. So that means all the stupid stuff I did in my 20s and 30s <laughs> comes and bites me in the butt. Uh, and that is what I found happened a lot in my 40s. So once this happened to me, and I, I of course got a little bit more serious about the whole um, skincare when it came to SPF, I really started noticing that um, there's two factors that you need to know about the UVA and UVB rays. UVA or the uh, aging, UVB are the burning. These will penetrate through your, um, your windows. So if you drive a lot and you get sun damage a lot on one side, that's where it's coming from. Um, on your arms, on your chest, uh, there's a lot of damage that the sun can do. It can actually change your DNA. So using sunscreen, I don't want to scare you, but I want you to understand that protection, UV protection is so important. And when it says broad spectrum, all it means is that it covers both UVA and UVB. That's really what it means. The next thing you need to understand is anything under 40, don't waste your time. That's what got me in trouble. I always used a 15 because I was under the mind and the impression that a little bit of sun is good. But the problem is, is that if you're fair like me, your, your sunscreen's not going to be as good as it could be at 15. In fact, when you're putting sunscreen on your face and you go out into the sun, as soon as you hit the sun, even if it's on a cloudy day because it penetrates through all the clouds, it starts hacking away at your skincare. So it literally starts trying to break everything down. So what may work for you, what you think is a 15 is gonna help you for like an hour or two, it might not even last that long. The other caveat is how much did you use? If you did the Gwyneth Paltrow, I'm sure she's a fabulous person, but I really wanted to slap her upside the head when she's like, I just put a little bit right here because that's where my skin pops out. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me, lady? Like. I really hope you don't get skin cancer because that's exactly what will happen if you advocate that you can just put like a little bit here and there. You have to put enough on. And when people say how much, they say about two fingers length worth of good sunscreen. So this is a different brand that I've been using, but I wanted to try this one specifically because once you put it on as a base, which is excellent, it does wear down throughout the day. So that's why they keep saying, well, you need to add sunscreen back to your face. And I'm like, well, how does that work? Because I love full makeup. I'm not going to stop wearing my makeup or my BB cream. I may not go full glam, but at the same time, I, I want to have something that I can use. So what I would use was typically an aerosol, aerosol, can't speak, aerosol spray. But inhaling that is not really good for my asthma. <laughs> and I don't like it, and it's big and it's bulky. So when I was going through my Instagram and I was looking at uh, different products, you know, I'm just swiping through first thing in the morning, reading my coffee, I came across the Shishido Clear Stick UV Protector 50. And then it said down below, can be used over your makeup. And my brain was like, what? I'm sorry, did you say over your makeup? Is this gonna break down your makeup? Is it gonna hold it? Is it gonna be a slimy mess afterwards? I need to know. So what did I do? I immediately went out and bought it <laughs> or ordered it. 
in this COVID time, I try to do more online than I do in person. And I bought one. So today, I'm gonna to be testing this over my makeup right here for you all to see. Because like I said, your SPF breaks down during the day and you need to add more mid-afternoon. Even if you work indoors, you still need it, okay? So this is great. I love the convenience of it. It's an actual stick. Now I've put this on as my base. So I put it on as my base. I pulled it all over, it worked fabulously. Um, didn't have any issues. My, my skin really was nice and moisturizing. So I really appreciated that because my skin is on the drier side. So I, ha I have to say I like that. But I wanted to see what, what would this do to my makeup? Will this disintegrate my makeup and make it into goo, a hot mess as they say? Well, let's give it a whirl, shall we? So let's see, I'm gonna bring my little mirror here. Let's give this a go. I'm gonna go over my forehead first. Oh my gosh. Guys. Okay, I'm gonna go under the eyes, get in the nose, that's where the skin cancer, gosh, why is it there? I'm gonna go under the eyes. I'm being generous, I wanna see how this bad boy works. Okay. Now I do have full face foundation on and a little bit of powder. The only place that I see an issue is right in my nose. So I'm gonna tap that into place. My scar isn't 100% healed yet. Tapping in place. Oh my gosh. Guys, this isn't sponsored. I'm not being paid for this. This was not given to me. Okay, I like the hydration factor. It is a little bit oilier. I, I don't wanna say oily because it's not oily, but there's definitely an, um, a moisture factor to it, which is probably not a bad thing. Now I am tapping my skin into place just to make, see if it just mats itself down. Guys, it mats itself down. Oh my gosh. There's barely any on my finger. Oh my gosh. Okay, squish the face, get those fine lines and wrinkles activated. I think some in, in this area, you might get a little bit. I, I don't see it. There's nothing on the actual applicator itself. I mean, there's like a hint around the edges, just a hint. Um, I like it. Wow. So this I can put over top of my makeup. It still looks fresh. Like, wow. <laughs> Honestly, and I think if you wanted to put a little bit of powder over top, you could in certain areas, but first impression, I'm incredibly impressed. Well, holy sweet mama. Guys, um, I think I think this is a yes, plus 50. Remember, you wanna be generous with the amount, so you wanna put a good amount. I, I think you saw me, I put on a good amount. Yeah, and I had some powder on, so it wasn't just foundation, it was foundation with powder. My face doesn't feel sticky. I mean, you can tell that that's a little bit moist on top, but if you threw in a little bit of a pressed powder over top, I, I think it would be fine. There's like a little breakdown but I mean, this is an SPF. You throw this in your purse with a little bit of a, a press powder. You just touch yourself up, put it on a little bit, touch it up, boom. Like, okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of powder on. I just wanna see. Yeah. It sets beautifully. 
<laughs> I actually like it a little bit with a with the powder over top of it. So I'm getting the SPF, and then this is my favorite powder, by the way. It's from NARS. Just so you guys know, it is my favorite. It's translucent, works like a charm, especially for somebody pale like me. But it kind of gives me more of an airbrush look, and it doesn't settle into the lines as much. It kind of blurs them a little bit better for me, but. Like I said, a little bit of breakdown in my scar, but that's, it doesn't matter. I mean, my scar is just my scar right now. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Definitely worth it for the summertime. Do it. I, I can tell you this already. I have used it over my BB cream uh, and it worked beautifully. My skin felt fantastic, not sticky at all. Uh, yeah, yeah. I highly recommend it guys give it a shot the worst it's going to do is make you a little bit extra hydrated nothing a little powder can't take care of the worst like well that's the worst the best it's going to do is it's going to prevent you from getting any type of skin cancer as long as you can keep reapplying depending how much you spend in the day too yeah i love it i absolutely love it i'm i'm sorry guys i'm still dumbfounded i didn't expect it to work that good i really didn't i was like no way um so yeah highly recommend it i hope this information helps please share this with others um add a like add a comment anytime you do any type of activity or you watch my video right all the way through it really helps boost my page which i really appreciate because i need your support and thank you, thank you again for watching and I'm really looking forward to sharing more of my tips and tricks uh, in the future. Take care everybody.